we're given two congruent rectangles and one-third of each rectangle is shaded. And we're trying to find a comparison statement about the shaded areas. So I've made a full rectangle here and we know that all of this space inside of here represents the whole area of the rectangle. So if I cut it into three equal pieces, then one of the pieces is a third of the rectangle, but it's also a third of the whole area. In the second figure, it's separated into thirds differently, but it's still separated into thirds. So this shaded area of figure two also represents a third of the area. You can see down here, I've pulled out the piece of the first figure, and this is one third of the area. And then just to show you that it takes up the same amount of space as the third of the area in figure two, I've sliced it up, separated it into these little pieces, and then just rearranged them into these three pieces, which you can now see matches the shaded part of figure two. So you don't have to separate it out like I did in this bottom section as long as you know that they both represent one-third of the same whole, then you know that they both represent a third of the area of that whole. So even though they look a little different, they both represent the same amount of area.